In this video, you'll see how to develop or test a VR experience without having a headset. We'll be using the Meta's XR simulator to simulate the VR environment and we'll use a keyboard as a form of input. So let's get started. All right, so here I have my Unity project open. I'm using the version 2022.3.4 and I've also installed the Oculus integration package. So if I go to Windows Package Manager, here you can see that I'm using the version 56, which is the latest version available for us right now. And I've also created a new scene, which just has a main camera and direction light. Now to set up our scene, we're going to use the assets that came along with the Oculus integration package. So in the project window, we want to search for large row. Select it, drag and drop it in your hierarchy. Next, search for skybox gradient. Select this material and drag and drop it in your scene as well. Now we have the environment set up. Next, you can get rid of the main camera and let us add an interaction rig. Select the interaction rig OVR basic and drag and drop that in your scene. And now we'll add few components that we can interact with. So the first prefab that we need is a box prefab. Select it, drag and drop it in your scene. Next, we want to be able to test out poke interaction as well. So we'll search for the keypad prefab. Select that, drag and drop it in your scene. All right, so with that, we have the scene set up. Now, if we have a look at the box prefab, you can see that it has a grab interactable. And if we select the keypad, all the key buttons have poke interactable, which means that this can be poked and the box can be grabbed. But if we have a look at the XR interaction OVR rig, each of the controller have just the poke interactor and not the grab interactor. So in the project window, search for grab interactor, select controller grab interactor and drag and drop it inside this game object. Same thing for the right hand. And let's not forget to add it to the interactor group as well. Alright, so with that, we have our scene set up. Now we can check out the simulator. To do that, you can click on the Oculus menu over here. Select Meta XR Simulator and click on Activate. It'll show you a prompt saying that the XR Simulator has been activated. Click on OK. Now all we need to do is press the play button. And that opens up a new window over here with different tabs showing all the information that you will need. Now to simulate the physical movement of our head and hands going forward, back, left and right, you can use the keys W to move forward, S to move back, A to move left, and D to move right. Now to simulate rotation to look up, down, left or right, you can use the arrow keys. So the forward arrow rotates it in the up direction, backward arrow in the down direction, and left and right rotates it in the left and right direction respectively. Now if you have a look at the data input tab, you can see that the headset left and right controllers are highlighted in green. It means that if we use the WASD keys or the arrow keys, it's going to move them all together like you can see here. Now if you want to select a particular object like the headset or controller, you can use the square brackets. So selecting the square bracket once will select the right controller, then if you should press it once again, the left controller. And if you press it once again, it's going to be the headset. So let's select the right controller for now. Now, if you use WASD, only the right controller is going to move forward back. You can select the left controller. And now if you use the arrow keys, it's going to rotate it in those directions. So now that we know the basic moment, I'll show you how we can go and grab this box and open it. All right, so here I have my scene restarted. Now the aim here is to move slightly forward, grab the door of the box and open it, and then use the left controller to press those keypad buttons. So the first thing that I want to do here is to select just the headset, and I'm going to press the square bracket to do that. So I have just the headset selected. Now I'll press W to move slightly forward. There we go. Now I'm going to select all of them again by pressing the square bracket. And this time, I'm going to use the arrow key to look down, move forward. Basically, I'm trying to come close to the table. There we go. And slightly back. I think this is a good distance. So now I want to select the right controller. So I'm going to press on the square bracket again until R is highlighted. Now I'll use W to move forward. And you can see that I can already grab it, but the angle should be more like, you know, opening it. So I'm going to use the arrow keys to rotate it slightly forward like this. Now I can press W. Now in order to grab it, you need to press and hold the U on your keyboard. So press and hold U. You can see that there's a slight color difference which shows you that you're holding it. And now if I press W, you can see that I'm able to open this and close it back again. So once this is done, I can leave the U key and that's going to be remain wherever it is. Now in order to try out the poke interaction, I'm going to select the left controller by pressing the square button and I'll use S to move back. And now I can use, as you can see here, I can press these buttons as well. Maybe slightly rotate it so that uh, you can see it better. There we go. There we have it. So it's really that simple and that's about it. All right. So what you saw right now was just the simulation of grabbing and poking. 
but I also want to show you how to simulate locomotion as well. So for that you need to select the interaction rig and add a component which is called as simple capsule with stick movement. Now here we'll provide the speed as 1. It needs a OVR rig. So we'll open this up, drag and drop it over here. Then we also need to add a capsule collider and we'll set the radius as 0.2. We'll have the height as 1.5. We want the center to be half of 1.5, which is uh, 0.75. And finally, we need a rigid body as well. Now for the rigid body, make sure to freeze the rotation in X, Y and Z direction. All right. So with that, we have set up the simple locomotion system. Now in order to test this, you can press the play button. And here you can see that we are falling down. Um, and that's because I forgot to add a box collider for the flow. So you can select the flow over here and let's add a box collider and this time the rig does not fall now in order to move i'm going to select the left controller by pressing the square bracket and then i'll use the keys y to move forward but i'm not able to move forward because the table is actually colliding with the uh, capsule collider so let me go back by pressing h g to move left and j to move right and here you can see that i'm able to use continuous locomotion using y g h and j now in order to snap turn, you need to select the right controller by pressing the square bracket. And now you can use G to snap turn towards your left and you can use J to snap turn towards your right. Now you can see this physically happening in your scene as well. So if I select the uh, XR rig over here and if I use the right controller, press J, you can see that it's snap turning. And if I select the left controller and use Y to move forward, H, G and J. By the way, if you go back to your scene, select the interaction rig and disable the locomotion. Press play and in your scene view, if you zoom into your controller, you can actually see these movements happening. So if I press Y, you can see that the joystick is moving forward. There you go. And H is moving back left and right. Now same thing for the trigger as well. So you can press trigger by either mouse clicking it or you can press T on your keyboard. Same thing for the grip button as well. You can press U and it's going to animate the grip button. Now, if you want to simulate these two buttons, A and B, then if you go back to your simulator, you can see over here that you need to press B or N. So B is going to be the primary button for left and right controller and N is going to be the secondary button. All right, so now let's exit the play. So that's it for this video. If you found this to be helpful, then I'd highly appreciate it if you can leave a like and subscribe to our channel as well. And as always, I will see you in the next one.